Welcome new kindergarten teachers to CTCC. Uh, we thought we'd just spend a few minutes in this video to make sure that you are aware of uh, what resources to find in your kindergarten classroom. Whether you take over at the beginning of the year or you take over um, at some point through the year. These are the resources that every kindergarten classroom in CTCC has in the room. If you arrive at the beginning of the school year, you should find in your classroom in a central location two black bins. So there's a large black bin and a medium black bin. Two boxes, cardboard boxes like this, a red bin with a plastic, a clear plastic top, which are the take home books. We're going to discuss that a little later. A set of little red bins like this, um, which contain the Fountas and Pennell leveled reading set. You should find two large cardboard boxes like this, and we'll discuss uh, a little later what's in them. You should also see a learning carpet. Um, hopefully it's been rolled up and stored. If you tracked down the bins and the boxes, and they're empty, there's a good possibility that the teacher has removed the resources from the bin and they have distributed them around the room on shelves or in cupboards. So this is what you need to look for. You may be lucky to have your own DRA kit among these resources and that will be the small blue uh, box but even though it is the older version of the box, it actually contains the updated DRA kit. Or if you're at a site with multiple teachers, then the chances are you will have the DRA, this green box, and that you will be sharing with other teachers. The next resource that all kindergarten teachers have in their bin is an observation survey of early literacy, the Marie Clay book and the three little books that come with that. The next resource you'll find in your bin is the Poems for Word Study binder. Each classroom also has this. It's the K to one version. There's also a one two version. So this has a CD with um, student activities. And this binder has um, lots of activities to help students build letter knowledge, uh, phonemic awareness, phonics, vocabulary, uh, fluency and comprehension. Each bin also contains the Lucy Calkins Units of Studies K-Kit. The Lucy Calkins Kit is an invaluable tool for you, the kindergarten teacher, to develop a comprehensive um, kindergarten writing program. So the kit comes with um, a variety of manuals. One is launching the writing workshop. You have writing for readers, persuasive writing of all kinds, how-to books, writing to teach others, the if-then curriculum, writing pathways. It also has a CD with the lesson plans and student activities, and it comes with three picture books to help with modeling writing soccer game, Freight Train and Creek. All of these resources that are in this kit are also listed on the back of the kit. The next essential resource that kindergarten teachers will find in their bins um, is the Nelson Mathematics Kindergarten Kit. So the kindergarten kit comes with this teacher's manual. Um, which has all of the introductory information in terms of introducing the program, assessment, and so on, and all of the activities um, that accompany the poster pack. So the poster pack um, is in this transparent bag here, this plastic bag, and in it you will find 23 posters. And these posters correspond to the activities that are in the teacher's guide. Another resource you will find in the bin is the learning carpet um, manual that accompanies the uh, learning carpet with the various activities and also the um, number cards and the letter cards. 
The next resource I would uh, like to discuss are the set of small red bins, which are the Fountas and Pennell leveled readers. Each of these little red bins, you will find the set of colored Fountas and Pennell books. You will find the small, a set of the small corresponding black and white books. And you will also find a print copy of the actual uh, lessons from the um, teacher's guide. But we also have the link available for this online. So I will send that to you um, when I hear from you that you are a teacher in the kindergarten program. It's important to note that none of the books in the Fountas and Pinnell small red bins ever leave the classroom, including the black and white take-home books. They are for use within the classroom, conferencing with students, and as soon as the teacher has finished with a particular title, it goes back into the bin and the bin is stored. And we'll talk why, about why this is really important later on. For the purposes of um, students taking home books for practicing reading at home with families, the books can be taken from the classroom in a bin, uh, red bin, the one with the clear plastic cover. These books are to take for students to take home to practice with their, their homework. The corresponding uh, black and white take home book to the little color book that you use for conferencing can be found in this set. For those of you who are not familiar with the Fountas and Pinnell system, you will find the book number and the level of the book um, on the back cover in the bottom left hand corner so that you can make sure that the black and white take home book corresponds to the book that you've been working on with the student in the classroom. I'd like to point out here also that if there are multiple kindergarten teachers at a site, then those teachers will be sharing the set of Fountas and Pennell leveled readers. Your bin of resources will also contain the under one sun set of leveled readers, kindergarten set, which has six titles. Each classroom also has a classroom library. So you will have a set of picture books for your picture book display. And you will also have a, an everyday book box, which contains a whole variety of different levels of little books that students will have in their book, in their browsing book bins. The next resources I want to look at are the kits that you will find in the two large cardboard boxes. Those two kits are the Exploring the Arts kit and the Math in My World kit. Each of these two kits have the following resources, the following items inside the kit. So they have the teacher's guide. They have, at the back of the teacher's guide, they have a CD that has black line masters for the teacher. They have two digital CDs, including the digital resources and the audio. They have several picture books and they also contain nine posters. In addition to these items, they also have a set of picture cards with a lesson plan on the back. And at the bottom of that card, it actually tells you what kit the card belongs to. And in this case, it's exploring the art. So there's no problems with returning items to the kit. This collection of resources has been built over a number of years. I cannot stress how important it is for teachers to be very aware of the need for returning items to kits once they have been used. If individual items from kits become lost or damaged, it is not possible to replace individual items and the entire kit has to be replaced, which could amount to hundreds of dollars. So this means returning take-home books to the take-home book kit 
uh, the color books to the founders and panel, the um, assessment, the little assessment uh, books from the DRA kit, and posters to the poster pack. Also making sure that CDs are returned to the jewel cases, cards are returned to these little packs here, and then all the posters, the teacher's guides, and all of the picture books and other items are returned, are returned to kits once they have been um, completed. As a kindergarten teacher, you are sharing your classroom with agency partners. So in the classroom, you will find a whole variety of different types of resources. Some resources belong to the agency. Um, other resources are the property of the CTCC. So how do you distinguish between what belongs to the agency partner and what is the property of CTCC? You will be able to tell um, what items belong to CTCC because every single item that we have put in classrooms have a barcode and a label. So the barcode will have the TDSB numbers on it and the labels will either have the old stickers that say Section 23, a property of Section 23, or property of CTCC. The barcodes on each of the resources that you have in your classroom allow us to track all of the resources in each classroom in the insignia, the TDSB insignia library system. So we have records of every single item that was signed out to the classroom that you are in. If you have been unable to find um, some of the resources that I have listed in this video, then please contact the library and we will provide you with an inventory of the resources that should be in the classroom. It is the role and responsibility of the CTCC library to manage the collection of all resources throughout CTCC. That means the library will order, um, receive, label, catalog, track and distribute all resources to classrooms. From time to time the library staff will come to a site in order to re remove resources that are no longer approved by the uh, Ministry of Education or to weed out items that are out of date or damaged or to add items that the administration has decided need to be um, added to a specific classroom collection. Because all items in a classroom are site specific, which means they are signed out through the library system to that site and the teacher that is at that site at that particular time. It is very important that teachers are um, aware of the fact that they should not lend or they should not give any resources from their classrooms that have been signed out to their classrooms to another staff member. All resources within a classroom or site need to stay at that site unless they are removed by the CTCC Resource Centre staff. At the end of the school year, it is really important for the teacher to return all of the items that we discussed in this video to the two bins, so track down the two bins, return all of those items to the bins and the boxes and make sure they are stored in a safe place in a storage area of the site or in the classroom at the end of the school year. So they are waiting for the teacher, for you if you're coming back um, at the beginning of the next school year or for a new, new staff that may be taking over the role. So whoa, that was a lot of resources and uh, we have a number of kindergarten classrooms. So imagine all of these resources um, across you know, a number of classrooms. So I want to complete this video by just saying that one of the reasons that teachers are able to step into a kindergarten classroom and find all of these resources waiting for them 
is because the teacher who was there before you was extremely careful about managing the collection. They were careful, they were considerate, they were thoughtful about making sure all of these items were carefully managed and returned to bins or bags or kits when they were finished using them. And so as difficult as it may seem, we have been able to manage to keep all of these resources intact over a number of years because of these teachers and how carefully they managed their resources. So um, on that note, I'm hoping that the teachers who are inheriting these resources treat them exactly the same way as those teachers who have gone before you, that you're very mindful of the fact that you know your contract will end and at the end of that contract we want to make sure that we're serving our students um, to the best of our ability and that includes the resources that we have to help us do that. So thanks for watching this video and good luck in your classrooms and I'll talk to you soon.